Dead here welcome back to today's video welcome to my channel and I hope you guys are all doing super well today hope this year started off pretty well for you guys and I wish you guys nothing but the best uh, for 2021 and I really hope it's going to be an uneventful year for all of us if this is your first time coming across my channel again my name is Odette uploads it twice a week I invite you to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a video and I'm also going to ask you guys to please watch the videos to the end and not skip through them. I'm trying to shift my YouTube watch time hours. And by the way, uh, guys, you would have seen the smart planner in Monday's video. This planner, the month of January is full and I'm going into February, but I'm proceeding with caution <laughs> because last year, January, 2020, I had my uh, PA planner and my life just went a whole different direction. So I thought, okay, let me try again with this one. And I do hope you guys get a chance to pick this up because it's a really good one. Uh, it's called the Smart uh, Planner from Amazon. I'm going to link it below again for you guys. And I do my writing in here at night time. You know, when I'm settled down in bed, I write my thoughts down. It's just wonderful. I really hope you get a chance to get it. Anywho. In today's video, we are going to talk about things I've learned in 2020. Where do I start? <laughs> I mean, 2020 has been a crazy year, we all know that. But I am just going to talk about myself and the things that I've learned in 2020. Many of you don't know this, but I went through a divorce last year. Um, I mean, going through a divorce separation is never easy it's not a fun thing it's not a happy time it's not something to be jumping up for joy about you know because you spent your whole life with someone and all of a sudden you know you have to reset you have to turn around and restart your life but thank god i'm doing really good i'm doing absolutely wonderful trust me guys i'm doing really good um 2020 has taught me to pray. Prayers changes things, guys. And I'm, I'm not talking about, no, oh, thank God for today, thank God, da, da, da. I'm not talking about that. I am talking about giving God more of your time to sit down, have a moment, and pray to God. And I wanted to give God more than just a passing glance. You know, like the song says by Leanne Womack, give the heavens above more than just a passing glance. And when you get a chance to sit out or dance, I hope you dance. It's a wonderful song. And I've learned to pray and I've learned to give God more than just a passing glance. Because going through the lockdown, going through a divorce was not easy. Um, it really wasn't. You know, looking back, I thought to myself, wow. I been through it and I have a feeling God said to me oh come here stand right here look at that ocean ahead of you it looks calm but you're about to go through it now it's up to you how you want to get to the other side if you want to get there by yourself be my guest if you want to get there with my help start your journey right now and of course it was rough and choppy and it was emotional and all of that stuff. But eventually I got to the other side. But I got to the other side with prayers, okay? Prayer changes things. I watched that video from Steve Harvey when he says, don't be afraid to pray. Don't be too ashamed to pray. And I've learned the importance of praying to God and asking God for help. He is there for a reason. Like I said, not just, you know, quick passing lines. You know, you get up in the morning and say, oh, thank God for today. I'm not talking about that kind of prayer. I'm talking about deep prayer to God. So that's one of the most important things I've learned 
in 2020. I do have my list in front of me here. Um, the next thing I've learned is forgiveness. Forgiveness for me was very important because in order for me to move forward, step up, level up my life, I had to forgive. I forgive Tom, Dick and Harry, Mary Jane, Joe, John, everybody. Because it doesn't make sense, I am asking God for help and I'm going to God with resentment and hatred and frustration and anger and grudges. God will say to me, go by, please, don't, don't come to me with that. You have to forgive. And forgiveness is not about the other person. I mean, we all know that. Forgiveness is all about yourself. And the minute I have done that and then I went to God in prayer, I felt light like a feather. I mean, if it was a windy day and I was outside, I would have been gone with the wind. I was so light and I felt the importance of forgiveness is great. So I've learned about forgiveness. The next thing I've learned in 2020 is speak in my mind. And I call this necessary roughness without being too harsh. And let me give you an example. Just the other day, I sent an email to someone saying, you always seem to have this assumption about me and trying to assume things that you know nothing about. And they said, listen, I know I've been writing you, I've been texting you, you don't want to, you know, respond to my email, tell me why, this and that. I'm not gonna write you again. I said, well, please don't. Don't write me again because you assume certain things. Because since I've known this person, I have never been rude or disrespectful but they always seem to think that they have the right and entitlement to speak to me however they want. And I thought I had enough of that. So I put a stop to it. And that person did respond to the email. I did not read that email. I just deleted it. I'm thinking I want nothing to do with you anymore. Just stay out of my life because I don't want anyone with that kind of energy to come near me because you're gonna get nothing from me because I'm trying to move my life forward I'm trying to settle my life down I'm trying to live my life a certain way and I don't need you or anyone else with that kind of energy to be around me and I did put a stop to that and so I'm learning to speak my mind which is really 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 important and another thing I've learned in 2020 was to have patience and to wait on God. It's important to have patience because I'm one of those people, I want everything now, 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 just give it to me now. And God was like, you know what? You need to wait until I'm ready. Because just the other day I received some amazing news and I thought to myself, God, we need to have a talk. And I prayed about this for such a long time and God was like, I hear you but you need to wait for my time, wait for me. I understand you are impatient, but you would see the reason why I wanted you to wait in the first place. So having patience is key for me. And so the next thing I've learned was self-care. I always knew about self-care, but to me self-care was a lot more important last year than any time else in my life because going through the lockdown was really difficult. And on top of that, dealing with the divorce was amazingly hard. And I had to find ways to really try and take care of myself. Um, you know, making sure I get out from the house, go for a walk, um, you know, having my spa days to myself. Meditation was one of those things that I practiced uh, to last year. I would just lay on my yoga mat and put some relaxation music on in my ear and my iPad or iPod or whatever you know you have and just close my eyes and escape for a minute and just do some deep breathing and relaxing um, you know having my my spa days and stuff like that it's really important laying on the couch just you know with my blanket and just watching something silly on TV doing something fun for myself going out to the store when the shops were open to get myself a new shirt I picked up a pair of socks the other day. I'm thinking, why do I need socks? I picked up a little thing of Vaseline. I'm thinking, I don't need this, but I'm just gonna pick it up. At least I'm doing something for myself. I'm out and I'm just doing things just to make me feel good. So self-care is more, is more important. And self-care means different things to a lot of people based on your lifestyle and based on your needs. But for me, I made sure that I tried really, really, really hard to take care of myself. 
and you know I would get up in the morning I'm gonna get all dressed put on my makeup put on my hair and I'm gonna feel really good because sometimes when they feel a little down and you put some makeup on you know you throw on some earrings or something like that and you just put on a new shirt and a pair of shorts you feel really good so self-care is really really important so these are some of the key things I've learned in 2020 prayer forgiveness speak in my mind <laughs> patience and self-care I mean I've learned a lot more but I don't really want this video to be too long and these are really important things that made a huge difference to me in my life in 2020 and going forward this year I am just praying myself forward because from what God has done for me in the last few months it's all been positive and I know God has lots more in store for me so, and all I have to do is pray and ask God for help. I have not because I've asked not and so I'm asking God for things that he thinks that I need to bless me with those things. So this is the end of the video my friends. These are some of the key things I've learned in 2020. Uh, let me know uh, some of the things you guys learned in 2020 as well. Just leave me your comments in the description box and I do hope you enjoy today's video. Um, my name is Odette. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you next time. Doodles!